please read the disclaimer. So, welcome back. I'm Bio. We're having a look at some more PlayStation 2 randoms. I haven't decided how many we're looking at, but we'll look at a couple. We'll look at some. And surprise, surprise, this is a game I didn't think would come up for a while. A game I've been looking forward to playing for a really long time. Like, a really long time. Like, I've been interested in the Disaster Report series for a long time, but I never got around to having a go at them. And that's what we're we looking at today. We're looking at the very very first original Disaster Report game. Uh, known as the... Uh, I'm going to butcher this, by the way. So, Zetai Zetsume Toshi in Japan series. And it was released as SOS The Final Escape in Europe and Australia. So, I'm just going to press start here. And this game is developed by IREM and published by Age Tech in the West. I believe it's uh, published by... I don't know. Who's it published? I think it's published by IREM. Yeah, it's published by IREM directly in um, in Japan. It was also it was re-released in Japan as a PlayStation 2 Classic. We know we never got it as a PlayStation 2 Classic. That's not fair. It was published as a PlayStation 2 Classic for the PS4, I'm guessing, in 2015 by Grandzella Inc., which are also the ones who really... I press start. Come on, game. Please... Yeah, I end up having to do this stupid shit where I gotta move the thing to make sure it doesn't come off of the title screen. So fucking stupid. Just a little pet peeve of mine. One of the things I don't like about the old old games. Like, new games, no demo, no nothing. Just stays on the title screen. Fucking brilliant. Alright, so I'm just looking at the back of the box and shit. So yeah, I've been very interested in having a look at this series for a while. So I'm having a look at the very original game. Now, the... The fourth game, which is the one that most recently came out, Disaster Report 4, Summer Memories, which, if you don't aware, it's, was, it's been through development hell. And this series as a whole has been through, like, kind of development hell, kind of. Because, uh, when, like, I'm pretty sure if, like, the third game got delayed because it was very, there was, I think, well, one of the games, right? I think it was the third one. Don't quote me on this. It got delayed. It had a release date set. And then an earthquake in Japan happened, so they had to delay the game. <laughs> and then that's basically what happened to the fourth game as well. The fourth game, there was like a really serious, it was like set to be released, and it had a really serious earthquake in Japan that killed killed thousands, thousands and thousands of people. So they delayed it again, and it got delayed in inevitably, and it only recently got like uh, resurfaced, and they I think they finished the game and then released it. So, but it's been in there. The fourth game has been in development hell for a long old time. Like, I think the fourth game was originally going to be coming out in something like, I don't know, 2000 and... Let's have a look on the scene. So, the third game came out in 2009. I think the fourth game was going to come out... The fourth game was going to come out in, um... Something like 2010, 2011, somewhere around that time. And then it got cancelled. It pretty much did get cancelled. And um and then obviously it eventually came out in 2018, the the PS3 version, yeah, PS3 version. It was originally going to come out as a PS3 exclusive, uh, when it was going to come out originally. So yeah, the game's on my wish list. I would like to play it. Apparently, it's okay. It's not as good as some of the older ones. Apparently, what people are saying. Um, and it just made me think to myself, like this series, this se this series has got a lot of potential, um, of being uh, have a potential interest. Now, what I'm trying to get at, as I, I keep pausing, is because I'm trying to formulate exactly what I want to mean, what I want to say, is I think they should be, you know how they, like, recently they've been doing, like, uh, like, you had the Yakuza Remastered Collection, haven't you? I think Disaster Report needs that. Disaster Report needs a Disaster Report HD Collection or something that has Disaster Report, Disaster Report 2, Raw Danger, because it was called Raw Danger in the West, the, the second game. Um, and then Disaster Report 3, which never got released outside of Japan. If they did a trilogy, released it on the PS4, PC, Switch, fucking, you'd be making quite a bit of money off that. And Grand Zell has got the rights to him, you know, with permission of IREM. They bought the project from IREM, I think, something like that. So yeah, I just think it would be cool if they did something like that. I... But anyway, I have talked long enough about my, my thoughts on Disaster Report series. You know, what you know, what I thought of it being someone who has never played one of their games. 
let's finally go into it. But yeah, I, I would love for there to be a... 2005. A HD... Sunny. Don't, don't have to do a HD remaster, just I a HD collection. Outside my window. I'm a newspaper reporter assigned here. Today is my first day. I'm looking forward to my new life here. But the train from Airport Island never got me to Capital City. Okay. Well, I got it's called Silver Island, Capital City. What? Is that a plane? Oh. I thought that plane was just falling. Disaster report. I don't know, so Disaster Report, I think, is the official translation of the title. I think. It's the coolest. I think Disaster Report, that's a pretty... Is a disaster report <laughs> it's a pretty cool a title. Massive earthquake has struck Capital City just after noon yesterday. SOS, uh, Final Escape, not so good. Raw Danger, yeah, as a subtitle. Up to 2,000 people are missing or dead. The epicenter of the quake was Capital City itself. Okay. Strong aftershocks continue to hit Capital City, making rescue attempts very difficult. Okay, cool. So yeah, all of these games I think are based around... They're not based around uh, like various natural disasters. Look at that walk cycle. That is a walk cycle if I've ever seen one. Strutting around. Alright, um, so I don't think these games are based on like various... Or oh, these walk cycle, walking cycles. Um... Sorry, they're catching me off guard. I don't think these games are based off m various natural disasters. I think they're based solely off earthquakes. No wonder they kept getting delayed, right? Earth you know, Japan has quite a few earthquakes. Okay. I don't know how the how the game's gonna look on the emulator exactly, but I'm seeing a, a quite a bit of gameplay of this game. People have played it on the emulator, so it should be fine. I think it's like what introduced me to this game. I think was Vine Source. I don't know, I can't remember who played it. Whether it was Vinny or Joel, but uh, that's why I first saw the gameplay. Watched a didn't watch the whole playthrough, but watched a fair amount. And it looked like a game that seemed really interesting to me. That's what I say. That's why I would like... I, see, when I look at this, people go, Oh, well, you, if you want to play the game, just play it on the PlayStation 2 emulator, right? Yeah, that's fine. But I would love for the game to get a re-release. That's what I would like. Because then at least the original developers, or whoever owns the license now, is getting some money um, from the game series. You know what I mean? They're, at least they're getting a little bit of profit from it, you know? Why is there no one around? I don't know. Why is there no one around, Keith? Oh, my word. That's a... Ooh. Oh, that's nasty. Well, let's have a walk up here. It seems safe to walk up here, so let's go up here. I think graphics aren't too bad. Oh, that, that, that this seems very safe. I'm going to climb up here, and it's going to fall down. Oh. All right. So, there's the helicopter saving people. The bridge is obviously all collapsing in there. <laughs> Sorry, those run cycles. You see that one guy? <laughs> that one guy that looked like he was dressed like a chef. <laughs> oh, that was fucking hilarious. One guy looked like he had one leg as well. What the fuck? Oh, okay then. Uh, that was lucky. But yeah, like I said, I, I'm going to keep saying it because I feel like it needs to be said. That, honestly, re-release the first three games. You know, you'd be surprised how much money those those things make. And I don't mean like, I'm not trying to be like, oh, oh like money grabbing or whatever. You know, trying to help a company be kind of uh, very greedy. Let's go with that. I, I don't know what I'm trying to say exactly. I'm not trying to have the com uh, a company be like that. I'm just saying that. Look at the look at the de oh my word, fell down there. Look at the de uh, Devil May Cry collection. Oh god, we're gonna walk through here, haven't we? 
Look at the Devil May Cry HD collection. Like, I, I'm so happy that collection came to Steam. So, so happy that collection came to Steam. Because, um... I've only played through Devil May Cry and Devil May Cry 3. And the version of Devil May Cry 3 I played was not the special edition, so I didn't get to play as Virgil. So it was nice to play as Virgil in number 3. It was nice to replay through 1 and 3. But I never played number 2. So I played through number 2. And don't get me wrong, number 2... <laughs> Why you not play DMC2? <laughs> uh, it's not a... It's not a it, it's probably the worst Devil May Cry game. Even, even worse than DMC Devil May Cry, if I'm honest. But it's still okay. It's not a... It's, like I said, it's not... It's still probably the worst Devil May Cry game. But that isn't saying much. It's still an okay game. So I got to experience Devil May Cry 2 for the first time. And yeah, it was alright. I played, through, played as both Dante and... Uh, was it Lucina? The girl character? But yeah. I think it's, like, it's really good. It's like, you obviously, we had the... Um, there was, there was a few other HD collections, but I'm saying, like, if your series had three games, do a fucking HD collection, seriously. Oh dear. Another another accident happened, lost some health there. So yeah, there's a lot of walking around here. I think this is more... Oh, can we pick up the plant? I want the plant. Can we walk up here? Yes. I wish to walk onto the bus. <laughs> I think this is game is more or less a walking simulator for the most part, but that's not a bad thing. It's fine. Oh! This dude has got some luck. He has got some luck here. Uh, can't see the options selected, but um, it's fine. Oh, sorry, so that restores the QP. Uh, I wish I could ro rotate the... Hey! Hey! That's it. You can do it, my boy. Let's go. <laughs> Look at him go. That, that is... Are you sure he's not a superhero? Look at this. No one can crouch... No one can go into a crouch position that fast. Stuck in perpetual mo perpetual motion. Oh, you can run. There is, a, there is a run option. Okay. Um. Oh, it's on that green car, isn't it? Oh, I gotta be careful here. Right, we got emergency bag. <laughs> Almost died. <laughs> oh, we got it. We okay, so we got uh, we got a, like a bag that we can carry items in. A note scribbled by the member of the rescue team. The writing looks rushed. Evacuate to the north. We're still working in that area. It's too dangerous to remain on the bridge. Please hurry. The owner of the restaurant nearby gave their permission to enter the establishment if needed. Ugh, feel free to take anything you find that might be of use. The key to the door is kept by the potted plant. Okay. We got some bandages or something. There's a phone here. Can we use the phone? There is an emergency phone. Yeah. Yeah, use the emergency phone. No dial tone. Whatever. Oh, oh never mind. Yeah, slam it in there. He's pissed off. Pissed off that he has to go through with this bullshit. Okay, so I guess the restaurant's up there. All right. Wee. <laughs> Wee. <laughs> Sorry, that's funny. You gotta admit that's funny. When you get close to a ledge while running, you automatically jump. If you fall from a high place, you'll take damage. Oh, and that uses QP. Okay, okay, I see. It's fair enough. This game is really cool. I like this. I do like this. I like the style. Hmm? Uh, the door is locked. Yeah, okay, so we gotta get for the potted plant. Hmm? The key is nowhere to be seen. Oh, fucking great. 
Where the fuck is the key? Over here? Hmm? Key is nowhere to be seen. Where's okay. Ah, oh, there's another potted plant over here. Hmm? Beautiful. We'll pick the key up then. Yeah, of course I want the item. Yep, drink the water. Yeah, so you can also save at these places as well. That's pretty cool. Hmm? Alright, so... Oh, you can go first person. Okay. Uh, use. Uh, key ring. Restaurant. Use the item. Oh, there we go. Okay, I I'm figuring it out. So, to see, that's nice. I just... Oh, my word. <laughs> how does this do? How is this dude still alive? Like, literally, he has almost died, like, five times already. I fucking swear. How is he still alive? Oh, fuck. Fuck. I think it was lucky I wasn't on that part of the restaurant. I almost went on that part, though. You saw that. Shit, shit. Found a lighter. Okay. Okay, well, I don't know what we're supposed to go exactly. This th One thing I will say. Please. Okay, in here. One thing I will say. Yeah, keep... Yeah, whenever I get a chance to drink some water, drink some water. Restore that QP. Um... What I will say is, uh... <laughs> oh, I forgot what I was going to say. Now for an updated earthquake damage report. The earthquake that rocked Stiver Island just past noon yesterday is still creating aftershocks around the area. All routes in and out of the island have been cut off, and many citizens are still trapped in or around Capital City. Rescue operations began in the southwestern region where flooding was the most severe. Thankfully, it seems that the operations are going smoothly, without major incident. As more news comes in, we will keep you updated. Up next, our special report, Video Games and Violence. <laughs> Yesterday, has it been that long? Oh, okay. Ah, oh, beautiful. Use it as a water container, brilliant. Um, where are we? See, ah, I was going to say, I know exactly what I was going to say now, right? I know exactly what I was going to say. Let's go and fill this water bottle up first. <clears throat> this game could use a, uh, uh, um, um, this game could use the ability to rotate the camera. This is what I wanted to say. Fill. So we've got two water bottles, okay. We've got two water bottles now. That's good. So we got some water on the side in case we need it. Would be cool if that water also served as still 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 served as a save point. Uh I guess I'm guessing we Yeah we go. I say I'm guessing we go through this little hole. Where are we? Up here? Liquid is leaking from under the door. Okay. Guess we go through... Yeah, okay, we go through the window. <laughs> Wasn't blatantly obvious, but... Here we are. Okay. Bridge still... Okay, so there is a part of the bridge that looks okay, if we can make it that far. I don't really want to run, if possible. But you never know what that could cause. Oh god. This is what I mean by this dude being... Uh, uh.
ver. I heard a person's voice. Why did he do that? Yeah, jump off. Don't want you to. Oh, it's just an empty box. Must be somewhere I can climb up here. No. Nope. There's no way to get up there. I heard a voice. Who knows where the voice is? Confuse. I heard a voice, but I don't know where the voice is. I'm looking around. The, this is the issue. The only issue I have with this game is not have. Okay, so I can I can reset. Where are you? Where are you? I don't know where you are. Where are you? I have no clue where this girl is. Hey! Hey! Help me. So she's in that direction, but I don't know how to get over there. I probably went right past her and now I can't get back to her. Probably. Wouldn't surprise me. Would not surprise me. Hey! Maybe she's that side? Uh, she, I think she's over here. Okay. Maybe. There's a car on fire over here. Hey! Over here. Well, there's a car on fire. Hey! Help me. Hey! Hey! Over here. So she's over here somewhere. I don't know where she is. In here? Okay, so I was supposed to go in the bus. And there she is. Get back! Oh no. No. <laughs> no. No. Oh. We dead. Yes, but where are you going to put me? I didn't save. Oh, you put me here. Where am I? Oh, I'm not too far away. Okay. Did she die? I don't know. Should we call it there? Yeah, I think that's long enough. The whole entire point of my channel is just a kind of first impressions. Try out the first like little bit of the game. See how I get on. So yeah, I like this. I would be willing to play more of it. But I would not be willing to play more of it on a PlayStation 2 emulator. I think, like you said, if the game got a HD collection released on Steam, then I'd be willing to play for it completely. I'd play for all three games. But I'm not willing to play through them <laughs> on any other reason. But that's just me. I, I, I'm I'm more of a service guy, you know. I, I like good service, you know. And, yeah, I don't mind having a go on some games on the PlayStation 2 emulator. But I'm not willing to play through a game completely on the PlayStation 2 emulator. There's always a chance the game could suddenly glitch, bug out. Some bullshit happens. Suddenly out of nowhere, your save file's fucked. It's happened before. It's, it's happened for me before. That's one of the reasons why I won't play through a game fully on the PlayStation 2 emulator. 
on original software, sure, but then who wants to fucking set up their original PlayStation 2 and play through the game that way when the game looks so much better on the emulator? It's, yeah, it's a tough call, but if the game was released as part of the HD collection on Steam, I'd be well into playing through the entire game. But until then, not so much. But I would definitely say if it's a game that you, if you're willing to put up with that kind of bullshit, I'm not. Then go for it. Play the game, either on the emulator or buy a physical copy, which I will warn you, I'm pretty sure these games are expensive. The Disaster Report games. So, yeah. Anyway, I've been Bio. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.